Shiba Inu Coin investors, where the hell did they go? Where are this particular investing group? That's what we're going to talk about in this video, guys. We're going to dive into, obviously, the price of SHIB right now, the price of the overall market, kind of where we sit, where we're at. Of course, it's the weekend. Usually, weekends are kind of weird and choppy, and we can expect volatility. And uh, we have seen a little bit of a sell-off here in the overall markets. But uh, you guys know how I feel about Shiba Inu crypto long-term, right? When we're thinking long-term, I think it's a tremendous opportunity right now to add to your favorite positions, especially if you're looking out into 2025, where I think we'll start to really see altcoins in particular ramp up. And these, I like to call them OG altcoins, We'll be doing some amazing things, I think, once we get out of this little rut that we're in right now. And eventually, the tables are going to turn. And sometimes when they do turn, it's too late if you haven't been adding to your positions, if you haven't been stacking up uh, in your favorite plays. Now, let's start over here on the chart because we're actually at a crucial zone right now uh, for SHIB. As you guys can see, we're kind of sitting here on a triple bottom pattern okay we were down here on april 15th we were down here on april 30th and we're back down here on may the 12th this 2-2 zone has been very interesting for us because we have bounced off this a couple different times already and uh, even a small bounce here on may 8th when we came up here so let's see if ship can bounce back up again and maybe even jolt up to that 2627 level uh, that would be nice to see. That would show us again that we have that strong support sitting down there uh, right now, basically, right at these levels, right at this 2-2 level and some change. Now, if we take a look at the overall market, we can see that uh, we're pretty flat. You know, there are a lot of days like this, usually in the summertime. Market is neutral, right? Not very fearful, not very greedy. Market's just kind of blah right now. And blah is okay because, you know what? It gives us time to accumulate. And you better bet your bottom dollar that there are a ton of institutions dollar cost averaging during these times as well. If we take a look at some of the top gainers, Core making a push back up today. Toncoin has continued its amazing run. Thorchain, Hedera, HBAR, Worldcoin, Helium, Arweave has been really uh, looking nice. Pepe has been really solid, really, really solid. Jupiter, same thing. And uh, we've got Render and Ordi up here as well. Now, this is what I wanted to get into as it relates to Shiba Inu. Zero Shiba Inu in the past 24 hours. And what we're talking about no whale transactions on the network. And if you guys remember, I made a video not too very long ago, probably within the last week or so, talking about Shiba Inu will only start to move up once we see a couple things play out. A, whale activity needs to ramp up. And B, retail investors need to come in. So when we had that little pop in March, we had both of those scenarios playing out. Shiba Inu whale transactions were up. In addition to that, we had a little bit of a retail boom, if you will, back in March in Q1, and it led to SHIB's price going to halfway toward the all-time high. Went up over 100% that month. Without those two things, there's a lot of sideways price action. Pretty much where we've been in the last month, guys, is anywhere from this 2-2 zone to 2-6, two, 2-7. Six, two, That's it, right? You know, when we hit up here into the 4-4s, four, you know, that pop we had up into the 4-4s, four, we did come back down and you know, retest it into the mid twos, bounce back up. But I mean, we've been trending here for about a month now in this tight range, and that's what we're waiting for. Now, if we go in here a little bit deeper, SHIB has been absence of large transactions 
exceeding 1 million, indicating a period of usually low trading activity. It says unusually low trading activity. Such, a, such an absence of activity often implies a temporary dip in liquidity and volatility. And as we know, typically weekends are known for lower trading volume, right? So I'm hoping on Monday, I put this out on Twitter you know, recently as well. Make sure you guys are following me over on Twitter. Links down below to that. It's at Z underscore Humphreys on Twitter. I think when we come out of this weekend, we could be uh, we could be due for a little pump. We'll see. We'll see. We could be due for a little pump. And the crypto market is no exception here for lower trading volumes across the financial markets on the weekends. Downtimes, many traders, institutions reduce their activities, maybe even cut it completely. And SHIB is a very volatile asset, which is heavily influenced by retail investors and large whale transactions. Such a drop in activity can lead to reduced liquidity. This slowdown is not inherently negative, but rather just a cyclical aspect of market behavior that seasoned investors anticipate. 100%. The current state of low liquidity and diminished whale transactions could lead to several potential outcomes for SHIB. The most immediate effect could be a stabilization of prices, which we're witnessing right now, as fewer large-scale buy or sell orders prevent sudden swings in market valuation. It could also set the stage for increased volatility when normal trading resumes as accumulated orders and pent-up market sentiments could result in sharp price movement. So I'm hoping tomorrow we see some of that happen and we get a little volatility spike to the upside. And again, we're looking at at least potentially getting up here maybe to the 2.5 or the 2.7 if we get a little positive price volatility spike in the overall markets. So I'm not overly concerned about where we are in terms of the lack of, uh, lack of whale transactions, but I'm just giving you guys the information in terms of why SHIB's price isn't moving. Again, no whale transactions met with less retail demand equals less prices, less volatility, less price swings, less interest. So that's kind of where we are right now in the overall cryptocurrency market. I do appreciate you guys for checking this one out. As always, links down below to our Patreon page. And then, of course, if you want to get involved with us uh, over at XTAlgo, this is our trading indicator, guys. Easy trading, made simple. We brought this to market back in August of last year. An unbelievable tool for you to have in your toolbox here this upcoming bull run. How about what if I told you this? You can sign up today for a little over a dollar a day using the discount code in the description. If you don't like it in 30 days, I'll give you your full refund, full money back guarantee. I'm telling you guys, give it a shot. It could be used for crypto and stocks. And if you trade gold and silver as well, links down below to XT Algo. Appreciate you guys as always. And uh, as always, come on over, join us in the Patreon. We've got a ton of great conversations happening over here as well. We'll see you guys in the next one. Here's the hope in the market pumps. Little rip to start the week tomorrow. We'll see you guys.